Today we'll take a look at all unreleased Sega Genesis games part 4. And you should know the routine by now, so let's just get right into the video. And if you don't, go back and check out part 1, 2, and 3. And then go ahead and watch this one. Number 1, Pit Fighter 2. Pit Fighter 2 is an unreleased sequel to Pit Fighter planned for the Sega Mega Drive and Sega Mega CD. The game would have combined characters from the original Pit Fighter and its arcade sequel, Guardians of the Hood, which never had a home conversion. The game was demonstrated at Summer CES 1993 and featured in many gaming magazines, but was cancelled while fairly close to completion. Had it been released, it would have arrived in the fourth quarter of 1993. Number 2, Popeye the Sailor Man. Popeye the Sailor Man is an unreleased Sega Mega Drive game based on the franchise of the same name. It was developed by Technos simultaneously with Popeye, Ijawaru Majo Seahog Nomaki for the Super Famicom and Popeye Beach Volleyball for the Game Gear. All three Popeye games by Technos were shown at the Winter CES 1994, the Mega Drive version even being playable at the time. Suggesting possible North American releases, but due to Techno's poor financial situation, the SFC and Game Gear versions were released exclusively in Japan, where the Mega Drive version was ultimately cancelled. No prototype versions have been found. Number 3, Power Drift. Power Drift was a game that was apparently due to be ported to the Mega Drive and Mega CD. The Mega Drive version was mentioned in the December 1990 issue of Mean Machines with an expected release date of Easter 1991, and the Mega CD version was announced shortly before the system launched with an expected release of late spring 92. Neither version ever came out. Number 4, Ragnarok. Ragnarok is an unreleased Sega Mega Drive version of the PC game King's Table The Legend of Ragnarok. A Sega Game Gear version was also planned, and we're not sure as to what happened to either version. Number 5, Railroad Tycoon. Sid Meier's Railroad Tycoon is a railroad management simulator created by Sid Meier and released for the IBM PC in 1990. Microprose announced Sega Mega Drive and Super Nintendo versions of the game, but both were cancelled for unknown reasons. While not confirmed, the name may have been shortened to just Railroad Tycoon. This is the name used in magazines which refer to the Mega Drive version, although it is common for Sid Meier's name to be dropped when mentioning the series. Railroad Tycoon was set to complement Microprose's other IBM PC to Mega Drive conversions, F-15 Strike Eagle 2, in the summer of 92. However, both were delayed, F-15 Strike Eagle 2 not releasing until 93 and Railroad Tycoon not being released at all, despite appearing at Winter CES 1992. Number 6, Rap Basketball. Rap Basketball is a cancelled sports game that was in development by Motown Records for the Super Nintendo and Genesis. In 94, Motown Records had wanted to enter into the video game industry because Virgin was doing well. Their first product was going to be called Rap Basketball, and was said to actually have Snoop Dogg signed among other rap artists. In January 1995, I was the sole artist assigned to the project at the time and went out to research graffiti walls in order to paint cool backgrounds for SNES slash Sega ports using Deluxe Paint 2, Deluxe Animation 2, and Tomb. Here are two actual screenshots day and night of the basketball court, missing the boombox and player characters. I think it would have been a really fun game. Too bad Motown decided against entering the video game business a few months later. Not sure who that was, but I'm sure that was someone who was part of the development team at the time who quoted that in a magazine. Number 7, Ratchet and Bolt. Ratchet and Bolt is an unreleased side-scrolling platform game. It was originally set for release as a 4 megabyte Sega Mega Drive game, however development was moved to the Sega 32X. Aside from featuring two robot cops with apparently 33 different weapons at their disposal, very little is known about this game. No screenshots were released, however placeholder box art for both platforms were given to the press. I also briefly spoke to one of the people that pitched this game and he was able to give me a link on all of the assets that he could find on his old computer. And I'll show you that link right here and also leave it in the description. Number 8, Red Belt. 
Red Belt is an unreleased one-on-one -on -one fighting game developed by Activision for the IBM PC and Mega Drive. Little is known about the game, however it is thought to have featured a number of characters in a martial arts tournament similar to the original Street Fighter. Activision started the Red Belt project in an effort to produce a game that could be sold for the IBM PC, of which the company had some experience of, and the then upcoming Mega Drive in tandem. However, the project was axed in favor of the more surreal Tongue of the Fat Man. It was one of the first Western-produced third-party games announced for the Sega Mega Drive at Summer CES 89. Activision temporarily changed its name to Mediagenic during the game's development and sought other publishers to release Tongue of the Fat Man on its behalf, with Sanritsu Denki publishing it as Fat Man in Japan in 1990 and Razorsoft, known for its violent games, publishing it as Slaughter Sport in the US in 1991. The Activision name was not used as a publishing label for Mega Drive games until 1994. It is not thought any form of Red Belt was ever completed. Number 9, Roadbusters. Roadbusters is an unreleased Sega Mega Drive car action game. This game was planned as the first release of Nihon Telenet for Mega Drive, introduced in several magazines, but was not released. Number 10, Rocket Rescue. Rocket Rescue is a cancelled action game that was in development for the Super Nintendo, Mega Drive, and Amiga in 1994. Players would have to save people on different planets, exploring space with a rocket in more than 100 levels. The project would have been published by Hotshot Entertainment, but we're not sure which development team was behind it. In the end, Rocket Rescue was never released, and there's basically no info on the game or what happened to its publisher. If you have any info, let me know in the comments below. Number 11, RPG Densetsu Hapoi. I'll call it RPG for short, and it was a Japanese RPG video game that was in the making for Sega Mega Drive and Genesis. The only source available about this unseen game is a scan from a Japanese magazine called Beep Mega Drive dated 1991, which shows us two screenshots revealing the use of top-down perspective. We can also deduce by the menu displacement that it had classic JRPG gameplay, including text-based actions, dialogues, and multiple characters to use. The game was also being co-produced by Sega. Unfortunately, we don't know much more about this cancelled Mega Drive RPG. It quietly vanished forever with no official explanation. Number 12, Savage Heroes. Savage Heroes was a fighting game produced by Electronic Arts planned for the Genesis and Mega Drive that was originally conceived as a hybrid between Brawler Streets of Rage and one-on-one -on -one fighting game Street Fighter 2. The game would have handled this fusion by utilizing two similar but different control schemes. For the multiple enemy based combat, the controls would have mimicked Street Fighter 2's control scheme, but been more efficient and general to allow for quick disposal of multiple opponents. During boss fights, however, the controls tightened up so as to increase precision and the view changed to a smaller arena, resembling a typical one-on-one -on -one fighter game. The game had two-player support and also exclusive one-on-one -on -one mode to provide a more traditional experience if players required it. It was just too ambitious and advanced for the Genesis and better suited to a more powerful console. The developer responsible for creating the prototype game was not of a high quality and as a result enthusiasm and therefore sales forecast decreased. EA finally pulled the plug, sending the Savage Heroes finances over to a different game, Shaq Fu. <laughs> Damn, that's not the greatest choice I would say. There would have been four characters to choose from, and in order to make the game properly, the Savage Heroes team planned to use stop motion animation in order to get the characters to look as lifelike as possible, and about a dozen 12 to 16 inch figures are, according to Burfield, probably still sitting in storage at EA. These figures were made by a Texas special effects business exclusively for the game. Burfield says that he is very interested in eventually getting Savage Heroes finished because he still has a personal connection to the created characters. Number 13, Senu Game Teki Paki. Senu Game Teki Paki is an arcade puzzle game released by Toa Plan in 1991. It was ported and once set to be released for the Sega Mega Drive around the late 1992, early 93 period, but was cancelled for unknown reasons. 
The Mega Drive version of the game was reportedly complete, but it is thought management problems at Toa Plan prevented the game finding a publisher. Curiously, however, Slap Fight Mega Drive, announced around the same period, was brought to the system by Tengen. No other home adaptations of Teki Peki were ever released. Number 14, Sensible Golf. Sensible Golf is a golf game for Amiga computers. A Sega Mega Drive version was announced, but was cancelled for unknown reasons. And it's really just this one page from a Mega Drive magazine that we have. Number 15, Shadow of the Beast 3. Shadow of the Beast 3 is the sequel to Shadow of the Beast 2, released exclusively for the Commodore Amiga in 1993. A Sega Mega Drive version of the game was planned, but ultimately cancelled. Little is known precisely about the Mega Drive version, only that Matt Furness of Chrysalis Software was given the job of handling the soundtrack. It appeared at Winter CES 93, oh god no, before being canned by publisher Psygnosis. If Summer and Winter CES 93 just didn't happen, we'd probably have a hundred extra games to play right now on the Super Nintendo and Genesis. What do you guys think? Number 16, Slicks. Slicks is an unreleased Sega Mega Drive top-down isometric racing game set to be published by Codemasters. Reportedly it had 10 tracks, 8 levels, vehicle upgrades, and weather conditions. It was programmed by Craig Kelsall who had previously worked with Codemasters to create Crystal Kingdom, Dizzy, and Turbo the Tortoise. Codemasters had previously released a Slicks game for the Commodore 64. Number 17, Smartvark. Smartvark, also known as Arnie the Aardvark and Miniature Aardvark TV Repairman, is a cancelled platform action game that was in development by Codemasters for the Genesis and Mega Drive, the main protagonist of the game was an aardvark TV technician, as we can see from its sprite in the screens below. There's not much info about the project and we don't know why it was never released. It seems that the player had to repair a TV by entering in its channels and defeating the bugs that caused the problem. Number 18, Space Race. Space Race is an unreleased Sega Mega Drive game by Origin Systems and it's believed to not have gotten past the initial design stage. Really only this one magazine article that we have to go off of. Number 19, Spinny and Spike. Spinny and Spike is an unreleased Sega Mega Drive game at one point in development at Sega Technical Institute. It involved two characters fighting through various nightmares. While a playable demo was created by Steve Woda, Jason Plum, and others, the game was set to be reworked after demands from management. Chris Sen produced most of the art for two levels in this reworked version, but the game was cancelled before any serious coding had begun. Assets created by Tom Payne were published in 2019 by Megabytes, ripped from one of his personal backup discs. And this is about all we have to go off of this version of Spinny and Spike. Number 20, Survival Arts. Survival Arts is an arcade fighting game developed by Scarab and published by Sammy in 1993. Both Sega Mega Drive and Super Nintendo conversions were planned for release in 1995 or 96 before being cancelled for unknown reasons. It seems like an original Survival Arts cabinet is pretty rare too, because just finding pictures on it is hard enough. But I guess we'll stop there for now. I'll definitely be back in a couple days or so with another part for you. I'm not too sure, I have to look at the list, but probably one or two more parts to go. But as always, I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and get that scum. Make him